from 20 million years ago, a mass extinction occurred and wiped out many prehistoric creatures. But only one down species that managed to thrive here and overcome the obstacle. Those were the dinosaurs. Not only that, the dinosaurs have been spread around all across the globe to continental drift. The seven continents split up, not the continents we know today. So, the dinosaurs have went on for the ride. Soon, the main new house for dinosaurs to explore here, there were some forests, swampy lands, including some deserts. But here, in the Americas, forests start to evolve. And sooner, the dinosaurs are calling their homes. Here, hopefully dinosaurs got even bigger. Even bigger than ever. These were one of the earliest cellular parts of the early Jurassic period. In fact, many cellular parts started to evolve in the Jurassic period. Kenny's forest has become very beautiful to them. The place got bigger. But there's another thing that's gotten bigger. There are predators. Here in the calm forest, we see a mother dinosaur watching her eggs. A female Dilophosaurus. She just laid two eggs one hour ago. But soon, her eggs will start to hatch in a few days. Her life has been fine. Right now, she's in the early stages of becoming a great mother. The man starts becoming a good mother. Finding food, teaches youngsters how to hunt, and stay safe from danger. Most importantly, exploring the world. So, when her eggs hatch, she has to start a 
I've been a good mother. Right now, she needs to rest. And find food later. Right now, the main goal is to keep a watchful eye out for those eggs and make sure they stay safe. Here in the forest of North America, here is the early Jurassic period. Here, the place got bigger, and the place got even bigger. But, the early Jurassic period had one of the most smaller but bigger carnivores of all. I was just off a source. Here, they're among the biggest carnivores ever. At 20 feet long, they're the toughest predators ever. But they're not ordinary predators. They also have claws, the ability to run, and also the scary crest. Parent targets don't find out the use of their quest, but they might have been used to attract mates or to scare enemies. But whatever the case, they're sure the toughest predators ever. Here, they thrive through an ecosystem where their prey is. Here, the force is their habitat, those prey and prey relationships, and most importantly, the resources they need. These are Angiosaurus, the earliest soil part of the early Jurassic period. Here, yeah, they're about 13 feet. They're just as small as a sore pod. Here, yeah, sore pods starting to evolve in the Jurassic period. It's only an expense of the Cretaceous period. But still, but there's a lot of growth to be there for evolution to take place. Right now, Nature's at its core, uh, the way it is. Here, over meters away, we had just off a source, there's sound of rumbling and the cracking. The cracking of eggs. Here, no Dilophosaurus about to enter the world. Here, guess who's taking their first steps? Here, they're, they're a little wobbly at first, but they'll get used to it. The mother then approaches 
No, Dana. The whole life is about to change. But the more I notice, that the more they hatch, the more you feel like now to start their day. And now, since they only hatch, they need a little food for them. So, the more decides to lead them to the meal. Here near the forest is a small river bank. Here there's fall water and some small life forms. Here this river bank is used for doctors to come and drink, like we humans do. The mother knows she's found the right place to find a food source for the hatchlings. Here, there are flies around the riverbank. Here, sometimes, the ecosystem can be pretty hot, so you should fly along the riverbanks to try and cool off. Don't have a... Riverbanks are dangerous places, even for a fly. When they're all enough, they they already eat solid food, like meat. It's been one hour since the hatchlings were fed. Now that the mother's hidden in a secret den, so that they'll be safe. Right now, she's on the hunt for her own food. Sonny estimated that dog was worth many hundred in packs to tackle large animals. But the mother has been an excellent hunter, so she may not need a pack after all.
since she's got the stout. Almost have become very much powerful. Sooner, they had gotten very bigger and hunted very successfully. All the other ones of the Triassic period. However, now all hunters are successful and they try again later on. You know, they're the biggest, the smallest are against the best of them. But here, the, the clinics are part of an ecosystem that people have really seen dinosaurs do so in the food chain. Here, these little things are connected to each other for survival. And soon, life is really about them and nature and the natural environment. As the battle us, the survival of the fittest. If you miss after hearing a film, the, the Mardolphosaurus must come back to a den for the hatchlings. And so, not enough food go to waste like that. Instead, they make room for the smaller carnivores ever. Here in the den, the two hatchlings are still surviving. Hiding for protection is the best way to stay safe. However, the mother knows that they must do better than that to survive. There are more other ways they handle danger than they used to, and they'll find out about that later in their lives. Right now, they have a lot of lessons to get through. They want to reach adulthood. It's been a long week. And the mother's been resting for a little bit. To wake up the energy that she needs to go out hunting again. But her hatchlings are doing extremely well. They're playing game. Call hunting skills. Here, the men look like they're playing. They're partnering hunting, hunting each other.
hunt and hunt his girls, they really learn how to hunt their prey. But Sanjay, do you let me ambush? You am a surprise to bring the play down. The man does not one thing. But the one has the wings two years. She must leave them alone. In fact, they live on their own for the first time. Without their mother's protection. And that will have a big impact on the future of them. But in how nature is. It's been two years. And the youngsters have all about reached the almost adult size. But now, things have really changed for them right now. The mother's driving them away. She knows the time has come for the two to live their own lives. The two know that the loom must stay with the mother, but if they stay if they do stay with her, then she would kill them and they would not be good for them. So they must leave. They never have the mother protection again. They have to find their own ways to protect themselves. <laughs> now, the three must have the key survivors they know when they were hatchlings. So, they did not must hunt prey on their own, even defend themselves, and find a good place to call their home. However, the survival plans are just the beginning, and are about to be put to the test. As they're about to hunt, the first prey on their own. The other officer has to wait for the prey to come to him. That way, he'll be ready for the element surprise. Hunts are always successful for them. Play always gets away in no time. The plan has gone the way they expected to. Then they must keep moving. Or such a fool somewhere else.
they have been searching, but notice that they arrive at their target. A fresh ankyosaurus carcass fed on only one animal. A fully grown male dolphosaurus. The new to always not mess with the male dolphosaurus. But at the time like this, they really need food. And food is the only kids survive right now. The other first stage of adulthood. So, not running away from danger, they must fight. One's office may not be enough. But to it, even the odds. No match against two. The male has no control towards what to retreat. <laughs> now they have food. Now they have proven themselves pretty worthy. Notice that they don't need the most protection after all. Now they are not proven responsibility. They think that they can take care of themselves. Now, these dolphosaurs will be evolving into new giant carnivores of the late Jurassic period, and they will get much, much larger. Soon, they will become the top predators here, and they rule the Jurassic. Right now, a whole new generation of carnivores will be on the rise, and they Right now, this is the shape of generation to come of these carnivores. And these carnivores will rule the Jurassic.